during our discussions with the peer team members. We ensure implementing the suggestions of the peer team report as far as practical. Through this welcome address, I also take this opportunity to welcome the valuable suggestions, recommendations of the esteemed members of the peer team.
was a nice experience listening to the presentations of the departments and also visiting various departments and meeting the staff members and interacting with them. One thing we found is there are a lot of constraints in this institution. There is a constraint of space, as in the constraint of teachers, the constraint of uh, um, more space. But in contrary to these constraints, we found something very interesting is the unity of the staff members, the involvement of the faculty, and also the bright faces of the young students which we saw. And despite the constraints, some good work is progressing here because of this. And as Professor Mehta put it in a right way, the college is using optimal use of the facilities that they have, whether it was faculty or facility or infrastructure. This is the best thing. And we were very impressed when the IQAC coordinator, Dr. Raman Kola, said how the computer facilities are used for various activities. And the language is there, teaching computer facilities. Everything is used. So that is the spirit. The best you get from what you have. And we found that there is a lot of scope for development of the What we have already suggested is one of this. The college should go for some PG programs. As I used to tell and discuss with people, go for PG programs, which will not again ask for more facilities and interests. Like a language, Bengali or English. Always go for that. I didn't suggest that you should go for a biotechnology or a MSc botany. It should involve buying a lot of history and other things. But whatever is the available, that has to be done. That has to be made use. And there is a very good scope for training program from this college. I was discussing with all the stakeholders, students, parents, alumni and others that the college has got a very good potential for training students for civil service examinations. There are so many subjects which are offered in the civil service where we have. And then the forest department, botany and zoology department, can always contribute for training students for the forest services. And also the commerce, which has some good teachers. I suggested we can train students for the charter only examinations. So there is very good scope for PT program in some departments and training program in most of the departments. We were really overwhelmed, as in I was discussing it with the Meta he was telling me, in support of the alumni. The registered alumni association, we rarely say see in the colleges. And we came in large numbers and we are ready to support the organization. And they gave some very good suggestions also from the government of the institution. And also the parents. They were so happy. Some of the parents, they expressed their opinion that they are very happy to send their children to the school, especially the girls, who are, who are finding this place a very safe place to come. We have made a lot of good recommendations for improvement and for future development. And these are taking into consideration discussions with the professor, the professor, and also the coordinator, and also with the others, the president of the central body, the governing body, and also the founder member. So we have taken up some good suggestions which have been recommended and the report was prepared with the uh, with my colleagues. And I will be handing over the report today. That is my job to the 
principal who will keep it in custody uh, and he will re uh, reveal what is the contents of the report after the results are declared by the NAC. I do not know when they will declare the results. It takes sometimes uh, two months or three months and the committee meets. I would like to wish everyone good luck in the future. I can't say anything about the uh, grading that will be decided only by the NAC in the, in the back room office. They will declare it. I wish everyone good luck to progress in this institute. I see a very good potential that this institution will become a model institution in a rural area. This is imparting education to really people who want it. I don't call them backward, who are underprivileged, who are in need. So we have to help the students. And this institution has been doing it for the last four decades under the guidance of uh, Ganesh and others. And uh, I would like to take this opportunity to thank, firstly, the principal, Dr. Susan Dabanaji, who has made excellent arrangements, and also for arranging the for uh, visits to the different departments. Then, of course, special thanks to Dr. Raman Konar for giving you a big hand uh, on the who has been taking care right from the moment he received the letter from the NAC that we are coming to the college for the visit. He has been contacting us right from the time. Till now, he has been taking care of all the arrangements and seeing that we are sticking to time, go to presentations of all the departments, visit the department. Everything he has been done has been done. Thank you, Dr. <laughs> And also his group of friends, Mr. Shah and uh, Dr. Haldar and others, who have always been. And uh, I would like to once again thank all of you for giving us this opportunity to come here and have a pleasant time here. In fact, I was talking to my wife yesterday. I told her that this is going to be three memorable days in my life which I have not Thank you. I will now hand over the report to Thank you so much, Mr. Anand. of our NAC peer team that we did the whole thing 
in practically one and a half year. We missed our NAC accreditation in 2010. This could have been our third cycle, but we have to accumulate all data from 2005 to 2016, and this was a gigantic task. So, uh, excuse me for having a list, and I normally do not make a list for vote of thanks, but today I hope you don't mind for uh, being silly like this. So first I'd like to thank the National Assessment and Accreditation Council for accept accepting our letter of intention and self-study report. I earnestly thank all the members of the peer team for visiting our college and for their insightful advices, encouraging words, and being considerate about the limitations and compulsions with which we continuously strive to undertake our journey forward. I thank the president of our governing body and the members of our governing body. I thank our teacher in church for accommodating and implementing the suggestions we made for properly carrying out the accreditation and assessment process. I thank the teaching and non-teaching members, my dear colleagues, for their active participation during the last three days. I thank from the bottom of my heart the students, parents, and the alumni associated with this college for their contributions in enriching our endeavor. Especially the alumni and the students for a such a, for such a vibrant welcome ceremony and the cultural program. I thank all the service providers at several service sectors like catering, plumbing, electricity, transportation, decoration for their services which they delivered even at odd hours. Last but not the least, I would like to thank all the family members of our colleagues for managing without us at home, especially the little ones of some of our colleagues who do not know what NAC is, but they still managed so that we could respond to the call of duty, which often extended beyond the normal duty hours. I hope I hope these words of thanks are not enough. And I hope we will keep complimenting ourselves and we will keep challenging our own selves towards our journey for excellence and quality. Thank you all. Namatar Vinayak Jayavit Bharat